Chapter 7, Outlook. Today I want to go over some of the things in Outlook that typically in the face-to-face -face class are things we spend more time on. Um, the beginning of Chapter 7 talks a lot about folders. As you can see over here on my screen, I use folders for everything. Um, actually, if I, can, I have so many folders, sometimes it's cumbersome to find what I'm looking for, but each one of you has a folder with your name on it in here, as you see right here, where I keep track of emails that you sent me in case I need to go back to them. Um, I'm not going to spend a ton of time on folders because it's pretty self-explanatory. If you do need more help with folders, you can contact me. Otherwise, the Learn Key videos have great things on folders. What I want to concentrate on this video is rules. Rules are something in Outlook that are very, very powerful and something that's probably new to most of you. Um, you can set up a rule for a couple things. You can set it up for specific emails to go to your folders. Um, whether it be the um, actual by who the email's from, or you can set it by the um, subject line, or even if it's a high importance email to go to a folder. One thing I do want to warn you is when you set up your emails to go right to a folder, um, you may not realize that email came in. So you need to really make yourself look into the folders. For instance, you can set an email or a rule up for all the emails for me to go to a folder called Deb. And I'm fine with that as long as you're checking that folder. I personally don't set up very many rules because I would rather take my email, read it, then either delete it, respond to it, or move it to a folder. Um, some people like to do it the other way. I'm going to show you how to set up a, a rule and then I'm going to show you how to get rid of it. For the assignment, I want you to make sure you can set up a rule. There'll be some hands-on thing that you'll have to show me that you set up a rule um, after you've gone through the chapter. So I'm going to do, I'm going to set up a rule to every time I send you guys like a Friday email or an email to the group, I blind carbon copy myself so I have verification that I told you that. Um, and then I have a Deb carbon copy um, folder. So those emails that come into my inbox, I typically don't need to read because I wrote them. So I am going to set up a rule that takes all of the emails that I send myself and move them to that folder. And you'll be able to see how this works. I have an email right here from myself. So I have that selected. And then I'm going to choose up here in the move group in the home tab. I'm going to choose create rule. When I go and create rule, I can choose if I want it to go by the subject or who it's from. I'm going to choose from Deb Giblin, and then I want then I have to decide what do I want to do with that? Do I want to display a new item alert window? Play a sound, which is kind of cool. Maybe if you get emails from me or your boss or somebody that you really need to read the email, maybe you want a sound to chime on your computer. Of course, if your volume's down, you wouldn't hear that, but that's always a good rule to set. But I'm going to choose to move it to, and I go and select. You have to have, you don't even have to have the folder selected or created because you can create it right here. But I have already a folder with a ton of emails that I've sent you guys. Um, Deb Giblin's carbon copy emails that I sent. I'm going to click OK. That's where I want everything from Deb Giblin to go to. I'm going to click OK and I get this success box. But in order for the rule to take effect, I'm going to choose check mark it and say run the rule now on messages already in my inbox. If I don't choose to run it, it'll just be for emails that are um, come from hereafter. So I'm going to choose OK. And notice that email from Deb is gone. I'm going to show you and create another one to myself. And I'm going to put test. 32, just so we know um, in the subject, so we know when we look into my folder that that's the email we're looking for, and I'm going to choose send. When I go to my send and receive, notice nothing comes in my inbox, and quite honestly, I don't know that email was sent. I don't have any verification. That's why I said be careful when you set rules, because if you set them, you need to go and look and make sure you're reading the emails. And then right here I have test 32. And it came, went right there, right to my folder. But again, from my inbox, I saw no verification from that. So for this rule, I actually like, because as I said, I, um, I 
obviously don't need to reread the emails I sent to you. So um, I don't need to delete that rule, but however, if I needed to, I would go to rules and manage rules and alerts. And right here, I'd click on it and just delete it. So I do want you guys to practice and practice as I did, sending them to yourself so you can see how the rule works. And then maybe you want to set some kind of a chime for emails that come in from me. Um, just a suggestion. Uh, the rest of the chapter talks about setting categories and doing some more things with follow-up flags. Again, those are pretty basic and easy read. I hope you enjoy chapter, chapter 7 and have fun playing with rules and alerts. Have a good day.